the relationship between Baghdad and Erbil or Kurdistan, it was somehow, mm, now I think it's much, much better than how it was before. There is an intention in Baghdad to have an understanding with the IQR, the Iraqi Kurdistan region, and vice versa, the same thing with relationship to all the everything. Since 2014, every year we had problems with the budget, with the federal budget, because it's, it was not clear. Every year it comes back and revisit the same thing. How can we have this positively impact either in Baghdad or the IQR? Every now and there, every year it re come back. This, but this year is much, much better than everybody before. We have somehow compromised from Baghdad to Erbil, and Erbil gave some compromisations to Baghdad uh, to agree as 2019 to have resolved all the outstanding problems between the two. The biggest one is the oil problem. Uh, there's a, a clear differences on the contracts. Uh, in IQR, for example, uh, the uh, contracts are, uh, are um, uh, partnership contracts. In, in Baghdad, is like more than the partnership. From Baghdad's point of view, is the service, how to service these contracts. This is how we're going to negotiate in the next phase as a political um, party uh, or as a political uh, entity, we have to work on that. It will be uh, always a problem, but both sides, they have to compromise in order to um, service the Iraqi uh, people, the Kurdistan people. Um, the intentions are always there. The intentions are always there to resolve these outstanding problems. But I think because the IQR now is busy of in their formation of their KRG, the Kurdistan Regional Government, um, after this, hopefully, before 2020, according to our schedule, from Baghdad schedule and the IQR schedule point of view, we have to deal with this. The 140 article by the Constitution, the COR, the Parliament, has to create a committee to address this. Clearly, there are still problems in these areas, service problems, some of these areas. Um, uh, ha started to have problems after the liberation battle. So how is it going to be approached, addressed? Uh, is the IQR will contribute to the reference structure of these areas or the federal government? This is the problem between this or that. And, and these people are suffering because they have not received anything, no infrastructure efforts from either one to provide these services for IDPs and bring the IDPs so the decision maker of those 140 articles are the people of these people how to implement this 140 article is this is how we are to address it in the next phase.